So I thought I'd show you guys what I was eating. Um, I may start doing this piece by piece, showing you what I eat. That way, you, um, it's a bug in here. <laughs> that way you can see um, what kind of choices I'm making. Oh, you can see me, hi. <laughs> but I thought I'd show you um, what I just made. I'm gonna put a little bit more chicken on there and I just realized I cannot switch this screen, but I'll just face it down. So I wanted bread, but I didn't want to be too bad of a person trying to lose weight. So I used these, um, let's see, close up. <laughs> I used these Thomas's bagel thins and I just put, um, some lettuce that I had mixed up. It's a, um, I think it's the 50-50 mix from Kroger. I think it's the private selection brand. And um, I bought a bunch of um, romaine lettuce and had chopped it up. I was actually making chicken Caesar salads. So I had some of that lettuce left over and the chicken left over. So I figured I would just make a little sandwich that way I get in the bread that I'm craving, but it's not that bad. And <laughs> you can see all my junk up there. Um, I may add a tiny bit of this just for some moisture, the um, creamy Caesar. Um, the stuff does have 18 grams of fat, but there's no way I'm going to use two tablespoons on that sandwich. But I figured I'd show you that, so I think I'm just going to start doing this, um, kind of showing you what I eat. So I'll see you next time. So here's the finished product lots of lettuce. And I only put like a really tiny amount of the um, dressing on there just to get a little bit more flavor in there. So final thoughts on that um, sandwich I just showed you. It was pretty good. But next time I definitely think if I'm going to put that much lettuce on there, I'm going to take the dressing and like toss it in there like I make the salads. Because I bit into it like the first or second bite I bit into it and it was nothing but lettuce and bread. And I'm not the kind of person that can just eat lettuce without anything on it and I bit into it and I was like okay <laughs> it definitely needed something on it because I just can't do that taste by itself but even with the lettuce um I am even trying to do better on that because usually when I do a salad or something I use um iceberg lettuce but you hear so much about how that is just like I think somebody called it crunchy water one time they said it wasn't it really doesn't have nutritional value so I've been trying to get more um, green in my diet too um, even if like if we go out to eat I've been trying to eat better we went to a restaurant the other day and I got a salad and it did have noodles in it so I know you have to be careful because sometimes the salad that you get can be even worse than the um like a regular entree but it was a really good salad and it filled me up without making me feel like I had to waddle out of the restaurant um but I yeah I recommend making that just use a bagel thin some lettuce and some chicken I baked my chicken um and I used a tiny bit of Caesar creamy Caesar dressing and I know in one of the other clips I said that there was no way I was going to use two tablespoons that was a serving size I like didn't even use half of that I used such a tiny amount and it was enough but like I said I definitely next time I will mix it in with the lettuce um but yeah just try that out um, and you might also want to try, maybe toast your bagel thin. I just ate mine cold, but you could probably toast it and it would taste good too. 
I'm getting ready to walk down and check my mail. Um, I feel like even just little things like this are good to kind of get me moving. I'm not really feeling good today, but I'm going to try and get some fresh air, um, see if that helps. But an interesting ensemble. Hopefully too many people won't see me. I'm wearing like a gray sweater and a floral dress. And then, I don't know if you can see that, but some fake Birkenstocks that I got from Target. So I'm not like wearing tennis shoes. It's not that long of a distance, but yeah. So do you ever wonder, like, what motivates people to be ugly? Like, on Instagram earlier, I was looking at um, somebody that I watched on YouTube, and they had posted a picture, and people were just being ugly, and I commented something on there. I didn't even directly call anyone's name, but I was just trying to be supportive of the YouTuber that I was um, commenting on and this person comments back and is just like so nasty they and I looked and this the YouTubers post like the last five posts that she's put on Instagram this person commented like every single picture and it was never anything nice and usually if someone's ugly to me, I just kind of like let it roll off my shoulders and it looks like I'm not wearing any clothes. <laughs> I swear that I am. I'm wearing just a strapless dress. Not naked vlogging. <laughs> but usually I would just kind of let stuff like that slide, but I guess I'm just hormonal and feeling sassy right now. So I commented back and I was like, people are so just unnecessarily nasty and I told the person I feel sorry for you that this is how boring your life is that you have to sit there and comment on everybody's videos and our videos uh, <laughs> on everybody's Instagram posts and the person ended up calling me big face which didn't even hurt my feelings it actually made me laugh but I'm like, why do people have to be so rude? Just be nice. And if you don't, that's one thing I don't understand. If you don't like someone's content or if you don't like them or whatever, why even follow them? Why even comment? Because it makes you seem like just pathetic. I don't understand what people's problem is with that kind of stuff. But I ended up commenting after she called me and another girl. Well, she called me Big Face. And then she called another girl something else. But I ended up putting on there that we should just report this person. They didn't even... I don't even know if it's a boy or girl. I'm assuming it's a girl. But I ended up commenting on there that we should just report them. Because they were, like, against the terms of use and community guidelines and everything. And it's hilarious because as soon as I put that on there, that person commented back and apologized and I didn't even say anything else but I'm like people are just ridiculous why can't everybody just be nice and get along and I'm not saying I'm the nicest person ever but like I'm not gonna go on somebody's page and follow them and only follow them so I can post mean things that just doesn't make sense to me but the video that I talked about in my a quick question video that I said I was working on, um, it looks like it finally uploaded. I talked about that at 3.45. It is now 7.58 and it just turned where it's said it's done processing. So it's probably going to take a couple more minutes to go live, but... Um, yeah, there is another video. <laughs> There's my husband's toolbox. There's a bunch of my crafting stuff that clearly needs organizing. <laughs> um, yeah, when I say I've been trying to be active around my apartment, I mean it because 
I'm bad about just laying stuff down and not doing anything with it. And it seems like that's what I've been doing lately a lot more. So I'm trying to get better about that. And these vlogs, they're not necessarily going to be 100% weight loss related. Um, if I continue doing them after I publish this one. Because my channel originally, I think I said this in another video, I'm not sure. But my channel originally wasn't meant to be all about weight loss. I just figured I had the platform, so why not go for it? But I'm still going to do other stuff, but um, vlogging and everything. I've, I've already put some stuff that you would have seen by now about like what I was eating and all that. But um, yeah, I've gotten a little bit more energy since that last video. I haven't, now I'm going to yawn. I doubt that I was about to say that I haven't been yawning. Um, I drank some energy stuff. I don't really do like Red Bull or anything like that, but it's like a pre-workout thing and you can drink it in the afternoons and stuff to for like a pick-me-up. But I felt like I needed something because I was just like dragging around. And I understand that probably sounds like I'm saying dragon, like slaying a dragon. That's just my accent. I do not really pronounce the ing <laughs> words. It drives my husband crazy. He's not originally from Georgia, so he doesn't really understand it as much, but yeah. So I'm like really getting into this vlogging thing now, even though I've only been doing it for like a couple of shots. But I think if I am going to continue doing this, um, I am probably going to do it on my phone for now, for now, just because it's convenient. I always have my phone with me and, um, the camera that I use for my like sit down videos is a heavy camera. It's not really anything I would want to tote around and I just realized how terrible do I look today? Okay. Let's just be real. How terrible. But, um. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to use. Um, I feel like the quality is pretty good. And <laughs> if you have or if you've ever seen an iPhone 6 Plus, it's thin. But when you're holding your arm up like this and you're not used to it, it does get heavy. But, um, yeah, that's, um, ooh, that's, um, what I'm probably going to do. So, I feel like if I just use my phone, I'll vlog more because it's there, it's convenient. All I have to do is use an app. There's a YouTube app um, that you can download and you just capture your video through that and it just pieces everything together. And I think that's what I'm going to do instead of filming on a camera and then having to upload it to my computer and then edit it that way and put all the clips in. And I don't even have editing software. I've just been using the, um, I think it's just called Video Editor from YouTube, which really doesn't let you do anything. If it did, I would have cut out all the clips of me yawning. Because <laughs> ain't nobody want to see that. But, um... You know, once I see that I, if I get a bigger following, I'll probably invest in that. I'm definitely going to invest in some lighting. Because I like to film when my husband is gone. Um, am I the only one that's like that? I'm just not comfortable doing that. It's like on a phone call. We've been together for almost 10 years. And if he is making a phone call... He refuses to do it in front of me. He'll walk out of the room and go to another room. And I can still hear him, but it's like, he doesn't want anybody to see him, which I can understand. But I need the lights because they'll usually, I don't really have a bunch of natural light unless I sit on my patio. And if people see me talking to myself, they're going to think, who is that crazy person? Um, but I'm going to order some lights. I'm just waiting to um, 
I guess, get the money for it. Um, the way I'm paying for it is I do surveys. And with the certain thing that I've been doing my surveys with, I've already cashed in and gotten one $25 Amazon gift card. And I'm building up for another one. And then I'm not, like, spending a bunch of money on these lights first off. Um, just getting some that'll do the job for now. But um, once I get those, hopefully the lighting will be better. And I'm rambling, so bye. So I have a random question. Um, I've had wallflowers for a while, but I just put this, um, what are they called? I think they call them bulbs, just the replacement thing. I put this in a couple weeks ago, and not only can I not smell it anymore, but why is this brown? I've never had that happen before. Like, well, I've had it happen before, but not that much. Like, what is that? Is it mold? Does anyone know? That's just strange to me. Actually, you know what? I'm not even gonna plug that in anymore. It makes me very um, uneasy, but yeah. I understand you can only see half of my face, but yeah um okay that's better but yeah um tell me what you think about those do you have any suggestion has that ever happened to you I've been thinking about trying out the um Yankee Candle plugins I already have some of their wax burners but I can't leave those in all the time. I can't turn them on all the time because they use a light bulb and yeah I'm not really comfortable leaving that plugged in all the time but if you have any suggestions um let me know and I guess now I was gonna do like a full body shot so you can see what my body looks like right now. I'm bloated a lot right now so I'm not gonna show my whole body but you can see my arms I mean I have chubby arms stretch marks all that um, but yeah so I'm thinking about doing a segment on like organization how I'm getting organized and what I'm doing because I do have a very tiny um, apartment it's just a one bedroom and I think that's one of the things that I'm struggling with is figuring out how to store everything and have room for everything. And right now I'm working on my closet. Um, you can walk into it, but it's not like a walk-in closet. It's not like it's this huge thing. It's just in our bedroom. But... I'm going through a bunch of our clothes. What I'm doing is I'm obviously anything dirty I'm putting into a pile, but anything else that um like we had in storage. Um that's crazy hair. Um I'm gonna go through it and whatever like if I haven't worn it in a year, I'm probably not gonna wear it ever again. Unless it's something that I just like wanna keep as a like a um say her like a encouragement piece I guess you could say something to say oh well I want to lose enough weight where I can fit into this again or something like that I'm just gonna donate it to Goodwill um I've done consignment before but I have where I'm living now the city I'm living in now I obviously haven't lived here my entire life um I moved up here because this is where my husband works and um when I still lived with my parents, we did a lot of consignment and, you know, you could make some money off of it. It wasn't like major money, but I'm just wondering, do I want to go through that again? Like, I know there's certain stuff that they accept and then you can only take certain stuff during certain times of the year and everybody's different, but I'm wondering, do I even bother with that? Do I even try to sell these things in consignment because I told my mom was talking about it and she's very 
um, gung ho about donating and consigning. She said, well, why don't you consign all these clothes? You can bring them down to me and we'll put them in the place where we usually put our consignment and um, I can just cash out for you. But I would have to load it all up in my car, take it down there, and, you know, sometimes it's like you may have paid 30 bucks for a top and even though if it's used, you could have kept that thing in great condition and they may put a five dollar price tag on it and you only get half of that so it's not like I said it's not like a major money maker but I'm kind of to the point where I'm just like I'd rather donate it and people that need it can buy it from like Goodwill and I know people that have that like aren't needing truly needing to shop um used items I guess you could say there's not like a certain type of person that shops at Goodwill anybody can shop at Goodwill um I mean you can upcycle stuff it's amazing what people do with thrift clothing and everything but I mean I know you can like write it off on your taxes but I'm just thinking either way I have to like bag it up or box it up I'm just trying to figure out which one I should do. But I have like... I don't know. I guess it just depends on how much I have. Or maybe some things that if I feel like... You know, I'd rather try to sell some things. I can do that. But... I just don't know. And I really don't want to spend... Like, I organized my kitchen like six... Woo! Like six months back. And... I bought like all the little containers for drawers um it's actually I got all those ideas from someone I watch on YouTube um and now it's just like what it was before but I don't really want to spend a lot of money on organization things because I don't know how much longer we're gonna be living in an apartment until we find like a house or something so I don't want to spend all that money. I mean, I'm sure I could use it in a house too, but you just never know what the layout's going to be. And I've seen a bunch. I I don't think I've ever said this, but I'm a, like, I love Pinterest. Um, I have a bunch of things pinned on there, like about how to maximize your space. But the thing is, none of the organization things that I've found are like the hangers that we have in our closet because we have the ones I don't really know what you call it I don't really it has a name but it's like instead of being able to hook like if you go into the closet and you want to hang something you don't just like hang it up it hooks from like behind so the coat hangers backwards I guess you could say it's really strange but that's the kind of stuff that we have and my husband's side has like a built-in shoe rack, which when I moved up here, I told him, I said, we just need to move all your stuff to the other side because I want the shoe rack. <laughs> and obviously I didn't really expect him to do that because he's been living here longer than me. But this was his place before it was mine. So I don't want to be unfair, but he has like two shelves and I think I'm just going to move some stuff into storage, which is another thing that I need to get organized. But I can't go by myself because... I can't some of the stuff is so heavy I cannot lift it by myself and I try not to lift anything really heavy because um if you watch my weight loss journey vid the beginning video you heard me say that I have PCOS and I do I believe I'm getting more I haven't been to the doctor I think I'm getting more cysts on my ovaries and you can really feel it like if you move for the longest before I figured out that that's what I had, I thought I was just like pulling a muscle or something, but it really hurts. And if you lift something too heavy, you get, you have a lot of pain from that. So I have to have somebody help me, but there's like, I know I'm not the only one that's like this. There's just like 7 million things that you want to get done 
and you want to start on all of them at once but that's obviously not the best way to go through it but does anyone have any tips on like organizing a tiny closet because everything I've looked at usually their version of tiny is my version of wow what a nice closet <laughs> I mean it's just like people's version of tiny these days is just not my not my idea of tiny but I've seen a lot of people like put double hanging racks like put it I think it was like a shower curtain rod or something and they'll put it across but where you would find a shower curtain rod that long I don't know I'm sure they make them but it's like my sister when I went to see my sister um I she has a an old shoe rack that she's not using anymore and she said I could have it but at the moment at that time I was like no I don't have anywhere to put it right now because I still got a bunch of cleaning to do and now I'm like kicking myself because I could have had one for free and I've seen a lot of people take the um what's it called it's like poster board but it's like the foam kind, like the thick kind. You can get it at Dollar Tree. But they take that and like glue it together and make shelves out of it. And I know you can't put too many heavy things on there. But for shoes, I think it would be fun. But um, I have our dresser drawer. <laughs> I have our dresser drawers moved in to the closet. Because they were just originally like sitting out in our room. But I just decided I wanted a little bit more floor space. So I put them in our closet. And that's worked out okay. Um, I just. Because because it takes up more space in there. Um, the stuff that I don't really wear often. Like seasonal items. Or like. Um, thermal underwear. I guess that's what it's called. For like really cold weather um don't get much of that where I live but I had it for my honey wound but anyway um anything that I just don't need like to access every day I put towards the dresser drawers so I don't really have to fight to get to it but I've got to figure something out so yeah any tips that you have just let me know and I have been rambling for 10 minutes now well so this might be a little bit long, long of a video. Um, we'll have to see. It's a new day. I just woke up, hence why I look this way. <laughs> um, hadn't had breakfast yet. Don't know what I'm gonna eat. But yeah, I'm just gonna go water some plants and figure out. What I'm gonna eat then. I'm gonna be honest, I'm never up this early. It's 8 40. Never awake this time. I didn't go to bed until like 3. But we're getting the windshield replaced in one of our cars. And the guy called me to touch base. Let me know he was going to be here around lunch, after lunch, which means I have to be presentable by then. And this is what I'm having. Just a bagel thin with some um, Kruger brand delight cream cheese and three strawberries that I've cut the tops out of and the centers. Um... I used to buy the Weight Watchers brand, like the Whipped, but it's twice the price and about the same thing. So I just got this. This is pretty good. Beautiful day.
can't be the only one that doesn't look forward to someone coming over for the sole fact that that means I have to put a bra on. I'm not happy. I want my windshield fixed. But do I want to put a bra on for that? No. Do I want to scare the poor person? No. Do I care? No. But I'm going to do it anyway. So I don't look like trailer trash. So I had to run to CVS to get some things. Um, it is hot, hot, hot. I'm sure it's in the 90s and I'm wearing long sleeves. <laughs> um, it was on the top of the pile, but I ran to CVS. I didn't share my lunch because we ordered something because we've not been grocery shopping. But I'm proud of myself because we ordered from a pizza place called Marco's and I got a sub. But usually I used to get the um, 12 inch and this time I only got the six inch and it was plenty filling. And it kind of had that moment where you realize, how did I ever eat a 12 inch before? Like, how did I do that? So yeah, it was a sub, it was bread, it was all that, you know, but I mean, I feel like even with stuff like that, I'm just trying to make smarter decisions. And I didn't order it because like, I just felt like I had to have it. We just didn't have anything else and we didn't have time to go grocery shopping before my husband went to work so that's what we did but slowly making changes i know this is a weird angle but i know a lot of people are probably gonna watch this and be like she's really not making fast progress she's taking this really slow but honestly in the past when i've um tried to lose weight and I've just like quit stuff cold turkey and there was just a snake in the road Ooh. um when I've like thrown myself into it in the past I found out that that sets me up for failure more than anything if I just kind of well I feel like if I just kind of ease into it and take it slowly then I'll have more success instead of just like quitting cold turkey because I think when you quit cold turkey that's when your body and your mind is like oh my gosh I have to have this I have to have that and you just kind of freak out so that's why I'm taking it slowly other people may have a different approach to that but you know everybody's different this is mine and I feel like if I take it step by step and take my time doing it then I'll do better so you know everyone's entitled to do things their own way but this is just the way that I feel like I can do it best and I went to CVS because I mean, quite honestly, I had to get some feminine stuff, but it's really craving chocolate again, and their store, I think it's their store brand or something like that, the gold emblem, they have um, the sugar-free chocolate caramel chews on clearance for 99 cents, and I looked at them, they're really not that bad, and I figure if I'm gonna eat chocolate... I can just go ahead and do sugar free. It shouldn't be that bad. And I'm not going to sit there and eat the whole pack. I do have a little bit more <laughs> willpower than that. But yeah, I don't think it's bad to treat yourself. I mean, if you really want something and I think you should eat that and not worry about, oh, well, you know, that's going to be, that's just going to ruin everything. The thing is, one, bad meal isn't going to make you fat and one good meal isn't going to make you skinny so you kind of have to find the balance of that 
so that's kind of my thing like if I want a piece of chocolate I can have a piece of chocolate I just have to watch like what kind of chocolate I'm eating and how much of that chocolate I'm eating so it's not like a sin to eat a piece of chocolate if you're trying to lose weight so that's why I got that stuff but I don't know what I'm gonna do about supper I guess maybe eat some chicken I'm not sure we'll have to see I haven't vlogged in a while since um it's been a while um not really having an interesting supper we haven't been grocery shopping the only thing we have is these little these thingies they're not really the greatest for you but it's better than not eating and I haven't really had anything bad today so that's what I'm doing I'm eating some noodles and watching Mr. Bean's Holiday highly recommend that if you haven't seen it but when I get done with this I might finish watching the movie just because I haven't watched it in a while and um, get back to cleaning my closet clean all that out so I think I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I'm fixing to start cleaning, so I won't really be vlogging much anymore for this time. Um, since this is my first vlog, it probably will be a little random and a little odd, but hopefully it's something that will just improve. But Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.